Um, you just came in from New York. Where are you just coming from? Uh, we're actually coming from uh, This Is 50. We oh, this is... At, and yeah, 50 Cent was there. So oh, really? Cool. What do you say to you? That's the first time I ever actually met him. Really? Yeah, I know. We've been cordial. Oh, really? Okay, that's cool. Did he say anything crazy to you or...? I don't expect that he would. Oh really? Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I like I like I like Fifty Cent. So yeah, that's, that's the first time I met him. So that's I didn't I didn't even know that. Yeah. Like yeah. But um, I was gonna ask like, what is your um, mixtape about? Um, actually, my mixtape is just a collection of all of the different styles and flows and, and you know. Um, ways of rap that I have. I just wanted to give people a little bit, a taste of everything, you know. I didn't really, well actually in the beginning stages I did approach it like a mixtape, okay. but then I just started feeling like it was playing like an album, you know what I mean? So oh, okay. I, everything is original, all the beats are original, so it really does play like a little mini album. Like, like what kind of production is on it, like um, producers I, that oh you know man, of? I've got uh, Saram, he did our, uh, the track b, &B where we should, the, which is the title track to the, uh, Okay. To the video. Okay. To our label as well. Okay. And um, I have Hot Rod. I've got a dude out of Detroit named Trill, uh, A1, who's one of our um, in-house producers with our label. Okay. Um, just so many different, you know, eclectic styles. So it's all over the place. Okay. Got so people from the West Coast, uh, grown man music, just all kind of. So stuff. you're in Detroit right now, from yeah, I understand? I oh. relocated to, um, you know, I'm an executive at the label. Okay. So I relocated to, you know, establish the label and get. Getting grounded. What made you bring go all the way out to Detroit? I'm just wondering. Um, because that's where I met the people that initially, you know, were interested in doing the label. Okay. And, you know, once they brought me in as an executive, I felt it was only right that I, you know, be okay. on the spot, so to speak. Can I ask you a question? What's the difference between like the independent and the major grind? Because a lot of people want to know. I know there's a lot of artists out there that are right. thinking about going independent. So. Um. Well, I mean, it's perks and you know it's negatives to both. But I think for the most part, the independent route is better because you get so much of your creative freedom and creative control, and it's more money in the long run. You know what I mean? With the yeah. major, though, you get you know obviously a bigger pr promotion from yes. a promotional aspect. You get a bigger push, and you know certain things that they can do that in these. Yeah usually can mm -hmm. but with our label you know what i'm saying we strive to be the best and we're trying our hardest and damnedest to show our you know our up-and-coming talent that you know, what has do just as much as majors do what has been the best type of campaign for you like what has you worked for you so far and what have you noticed worked for you like not like on the independent route uh again i have to say the creative control I, i'm a big you know uh fan of being able to dictate the pace of my own project. That is completely understood. I, like, I'm a female artist myself, mm -hmm. and one thing I always, like, the only thing about going independent, for me, I always had a big problem, like, with, um, like, we're female artists, right. and dudes want to try something. Right. Like, have you ever encountered that? Yes, of course. In the industry? Of course, I have. Yeah. But, you know, at the label I'm at now, it's all family, and everyone is so respectful of everyone else, and everybody just wants to see okay. the other one win. And I don't have to that's good. That. Okay, that's good. At least you feel comfortable where you're at. Yeah, because that's one thing. Like, no, that's, that's, that's hard. It's hard. You know, you're a pretty yeah. girl, so you know, you know, yeah. they will try you, and it, sometimes they can make it difficult it's, for it's, you to, to It's advance. it's really annoying because sometimes it's like it's like you got to do something with me, or like, has anyone ever did that with you, or? Time. Yeah, like do something with. Yeah, there's a lot of beats I don't have because. I <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh my God, that is Definitely. crazy. But that that that's what happens. Story. That is so sad that it goes with like you know stuff like that like dudes be thirsty. Well, it's a male dominated business, so you gotta yeah. You gotta take it a lot of the industries off. are male dominated, like regardless if it's hip hop, te technology, I mean, I finance. From the aspect of this is the music business, and there's a lot of money in music, but imagine it on a Hollywood scale. Imagine yeah, I heard it's even worse. Like my brother's on that side, and I heard it's it's horrible. The politics out there is like crazy. I have friends in that world and. I don't want any part of that. I mean, like I said, you gotta take yeah. it with a grain of salt, take the good with the bad, and just know how to be professional. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. That's so basically, like, um, uh, so like when you were coming into this game, like, what, um, can you, like, like, you know, like, like you're like a really beautiful woman or whatever, right? Like, can I, and, um, I'm just wondering, like, how do you feel about like women that want to use like, um, enhancements or something to get out there? Um, or feel that they have to. That's not my forte, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But to each his own, you know what I mean? I don't judge yeah. anybody on the decisions that they make to, you 
know, enhance or not enhance okay. their body. You know what I mean? I got tattoos everywhere. And a lot of people don't like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I'm in no position to judge anybody on what they feel is, you know, okay. right for them. That's a personal choice. So. Okay. And not my personal choice, but yeah. that's me. Okay, and I'm I'm also like like I understand that you're a mother mm -hmm. too. Also, like as a female artist, has, has that affected you as the way that you move? Do you oh, do you believe? I, it's affected me. You know that that affects every aspect of my aspect yeah. of my life because I I was a teen mom. Yes. So you know, I my whole life has really been dedicated to my kids and still is. Okay. Even though they're grown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I this is like I guess. My babies. This is still like a positive way to to actually go and eat. Like, right. yeah, you can't even knock that. Like, at least like you're out there. Like, you're not like. There's a lot of women out there doing crazy stuff for their money right now. So, like, this is still a positive thing. So I give you res a lot of respect for that. So, I all right. And um, basically, and where can they find your music? I'm sorry. Um, the mixtape will be out September the 17th, and that'll be everywhere. We're doing uh, hard copies and um, you know online sales. And you can reach me at Charlie Baltimore on Twitter or Instagram, and that's Charlie with no E. Okay, Charlie with no E. Yeah, right. Okay, mm -hmm. and then um, I'm just wondering, are you on Facebook as well? Like, has there any face? Uh, actually, my uh, the girl that that runs my fan club, she I let her handle my Facebook. So shout out okay. to Kamara in Toronto. She's okay. A bitch. So yeah, you can reach me on Facebook okay. as well. Okay. Same name. All right, and thank you very much thank for you. the interview. All nice right, thank you. you. Nice <laughs> to meet you too. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye.